I've said this many times before, Super Mario 3D World is my favorite 3D Mario game. It's full of amazing fun levels, cool new power-ups, and even 5 characters with unique abilities for each one. However, that doesn't mean this game is fun and enjoyable 100% of the time. Often during my playthroughs of this game, I find myself annoyed or upset when I get to certain levels because I truly do not want to play them. Whether that's because they're boring or because I don't like the idea of them. Yes, there are actually levels in this game that I do not enjoy. So in today's video, I wanted to share with all of you a list of my top 10 least favorite levels in Super Mario 3D World. Starting off with number 10 is Shiftier Boo Mansion. Don't get me wrong, this is a really cool level. I like the addition of the filter so it looks like you're in some old dark horror movie. But the only reason I don't like this level is because as a kid, I could never beat it. In order to beat the level, you have to find the hidden warp block under the bridge. But as a kid, I was so frustrated because this level kept looping over and over and over. I never found the warp block until weeks later. This level pretty much scarred me. Number 9 is Switch Shock Circus. This level is just a quicker and worse version of Switch Scramble Circus. Fizzlets are one of my least favorite enemies in this game, and this level is full of them. The entire level is basically two sections that are full of the switches that you must hit in order for the door to open onto the next section. The only problem with this is you can just use the cursor to touch all the switches, so this level can be pretty boring. Number 8 is Cosmic Cannon Cluster. Honestly, the style of this level is pretty cool. I do like the spaceship technology theme they went with for this course, but for some reason I never found myself truly enjoying this level. I don't know if it's because I didn't really like the randomly placed underwater section, or because I was always stressed over the precise cannon shots you have to do while riding on the switchboards, but this level never interested me. For number 7, we have Chain Link Charge. I'm not a big fan of auto-scrollers, so this is the main reason why I don't like this level. It's a fun level, but the auto-scrolling ruins it. If I was able to explore this level without the camera forcing me to move, then I actually would like this level. The auto-scroll makes the timed cat dives more stressful and less fun. Auto-scrollers always make me want to get to the end as soon as possible, instead of making me want to explore and have fun in the level. It also takes place in the sky, so you can pretty much never make an error or you're dead. Many times the auto-scroll will be the reason you mess up a jump. Number 6 is Bowser's bob Brigade. This is another auto-scroll, so you already know why I don't like this level. The auto-scroll is so slow, which makes this level so boring to me. It's not that bad, but the theme isn't too amazing. You just jump from tank to tank over and over until you reach the boss. Nothing too special for a castle level. For number 5, we have Super Galaxy. If this level is supposed to give tribute to the Super Mario Galaxy series, I think they could have done a better job. The whole level is just blue and red metal objects spinning over and over, with a few Mario Galaxy themed enemies placed all around. It's sort of cool because you can see the Comet Observatory in the background, along with Lumas all over the level. Even Rosalina makes an appearance at the end, and you can unlock her as a character. But other than that, this level is kind of bland and boring to me. Number 4 is similar to a previous level. This level is Bowser's Bullet Bill Brigade. Similar to Bowser's bob Brigade, it's another slow auto-scroller, so I already don't like it too much. It's so repetitive. You wait for each tank to slowly approach, which is so boring. The only cool thing about this level is that it takes place in a giant alley. Other than that, it's pretty basic and not too fun in my opinion. Number 3 is Rammerhead Reef. I honestly don't like underwater levels in this game, and this level is like 95% underwater. The characters move so slowly in the water, and the entire level you're just spamming the B button to swim around. Not only is it entirely an underwater level, but most of the time it's a 2D level, meaning most of the time you can only move left or right. In a 3D game, I don't like levels that are mainly 2D. Also, I really don't like the Rammerhead enemies. Trying to outswim them is impossible, so I'm constantly getting hit by them over and over. It's just not that fun of a level, and I get annoyed every time I play it. For number 2 on the list, we have Honeycomb Starway. There's so many reasons why I don't like this level. It's a super slow auto-scroll, the camera angle is directly above the player, and it's super repetitive. A few enemies come on a screen and you either kill them or let them pass. You wait for more hexagon platforms to appear so you can move forward, then more enemies appear. That happens all the way till the end of this level. It's completely the same the whole way through. The only good thing about this level is the background. It looks pretty cool and it reminds me of Mario Galaxy. So, what could be worse than any of the levels on this list so far? Well, none other than Honeycomb Skyway. This level is pretty much like Honeycomb Starway, but much, much worse. I absolutely hate this level. It has all the annoying traits of Starway, and then some. It's slow and has repetitive enemies. The addition of ice makes this level even more annoying to finish. 
It seems longer than Honeycomb Starway, and even worse, since there's no checkpoint. So if you die, you have to restart from the beginning, and redo this slow and painful level. They also got rid of the cool space background, and put an eye-blinding bright blue sky. This level is by far my least favorite level in the entire game. Even though there are some levels I don't like too much, I still love this game, and it will still be my favorite 3D Mario title. I hope you all enjoyed my list of least favorite levels. Do you agree with my list? Let me know your least favorite levels down in the comments. Anyways, I'm a Nintendo fan, thanks for watching.